Hello, is anybody out there? You want to watch a video on how to wax your tools? Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you how to wax your tool. Not that tool. Uh, you know, tools with metal tops. Yeah, it's important. Okay, how to wax your tools in 12 easy minutes. <laughs> okay, bye. Whoa. Johnson's Pace Wax. They're not a sponsor. I don't have sponsors. It's very important to keep your tools nice and smooth because the metal gets all rusty and sticky and it's hard to push things through your saw. If you, uh, God, I'm steaming up my glasses. I must be hot. Any kind of paste wax will help uh, alleviate the stickiness of a metal table. On your joiners, your table saws, your routers, your edge sanders, your band saws, everything has a metal table on it. And where I live, it's very humid and wet. It's raining right now. It's 60 degrees and 83% humidity. Ugh, really bad for your tools. So it's a good idea to keep them waxed up and this is how we're gonna do it. And it's really important to keep your table saw nice and lubricated uh, because if it's, you know, if it's any bit sticky and you're pushing too hard, you can slip, uh, it makes it harder to push wood through. And it's, uh, yeah, it's much easier when it's all nice and slickery. So we'll go through that and uh, then we'll go do the joiner. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna do the table saw and just make sure that your blade is all the way down. Shouldn't have to tell you, same with the band saw. Make sure you don't run your hand across the blade. Uh, that would be dumb. And, uh, yeah, you need to pay attention sort of when you're doing this stuff. Anyway, here we go, just circular motion all the way around. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> okay, go. You could use a uh, power sander and a disc, but then you'll never be able to use it for anything else, like sanding, because it'll be full of paste. But I've got like six, so it might be faster. Ah, I'll just do it like this. I even do the plastic part. Yeah. And this is a saw stop, by the way, so. Saw stop, best saw in the world. Also not a sponsor. Whoa. You gotta do the crack. Oh. Okay. And there it is. The other thing that would be a good idea to do is the side of the fence. And you can also do the plastic here, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. But sometimes this gets a little stickery. So, just put wax on everything. I'll wax everything. Well, almost everything. Yeah. I'm not European. Ta-da, all right. Now we gotta wipe it down. I need a bigger rag. I can also use these 3M pads. If you don't have any uh, seal wool, you might have one of these laying around. Eh, or you might not. Just have to go to the store and get one. So here's the other thing. You attach these to your sanders. And you just spin it around. You can do it that way too. It'll, uh, this will probably save you some elbow grease if you just use the sander. But then you'll have this stuff all over your sander. Uh, so if you make a dedicated sander, like an old one that you don't need. Uh, I don't know where mine are. I have so many. They're all over the place. Probably on a job somewhere. Ooh, Costco microfiber cloth works really good. It cleans up the mess. Got to do the crack. And usually I use these after I've used them in the house. Look how dirty. That's just crap coming off the saw. A clean saw is a happy saw. Anyway, okay, so there we go. And uh, you see it cleans, cleans up your saw and that's not just from the wax because the wax is that color. It's actually gook coming off your saw. Like if you wanna do the whole thing, if you're doing plywood, do the whole table, everything. My saw setup is so crammed in here that my 
This camera is sitting on my shaper. This is my table saw. My assembly area is over there and my 12 inch jointer is here with a portable planer back there and a portable sander. Um, I, live, I work in a little 400 square foot nothing. I make it work though. If I could do it, you could do it. All right, joiners next. Okay, we have two more things to do. Well, we can actually do three. So I have my joiner to do, 12 inch joiner. I could do my shaper, which I don't really have time for because I got to get milling. And the edge sander, which is right here. And the disc sander, which is right here. Wax this thing up. When you wax it, make sure your fence is all the way back. So you don't want to like wax this part and then not do that part. So all the way back. Lock it in place right there. And make sure you don't run your hands over the dam. If you have knives, especially if you have knives, uh, be very careful when you get to the, uh, the fingers here because knives will cut the crap out of you. These things will too if you're uh, bare knuckled and you're just not paying attention. So pay attention. Tools are inherently dangerous. They will eat your fingers. That's why they put these little stupid things on here so you don't cut your fingers off. You know, people still do. Johnson's Paste Wax, yes. I think it's just focused on me. Hello. Anyway, here we go. So I'll start with this in. Almost out. Got another. Ready, go. So as far as the joint area is, I do this almost every week. Just because I want the wood to glide smoothly over the surface. I don't want a uh, buildup of what, you know, a buildup of rust. Uh, sometimes pitch from like pine, if you ever do pine. I don't do pine much, but it happens. Like dug fur, I did a dug fur job and actually I, my joiner had pitch on it. And it was dried fur. Fur has lots of pitch pockets. Anyway, we're doing all, everything. All right, go across. I always go across this way. Just want to get close to the uh, little fingers here because I don't feel like taking off the tips of my fingers. I need them for everything else, like picking my nose. Just like waxing a car. And if you don't have this, you can use car wax, car cleaner wax. I think that's what it is. So if you don't have Johnson's Pace Wax, you can't find it, you can find it on Amazon. Amazon.com. Also not a sponsor. All right, now, definitely doing this fence. This is very important. And when you get done waxing everything up, drying it off and all that, Make sure this is really square. Unless you don't want square pieces. Then just don't worry about it. Don't forget to do the crack. Another thing that happens sometimes on joiners is the edges get banged really bad. Uh, you know, this thing weighs like 700 pounds. It takes like three people to move it. Uh, sometimes this gets hit falling wood, something hits it, uh, hit it with the planer one time, pushing it, boom. So if you have a metal file and you got a burr on this thing and you'll know that when you run something over it, you'll go, ah, that's not good. Especially on the edges. File it off with a metal file and then sand it with like a thousand grit sandpaper. It'll, uh, your wood will thank you. Okay, and now to wipe it off. See, not so bad. I do this a lot. So this one really doesn't have too much time to build up uh, rust. It will happen very quickly. Especially in humid climates where we live, where I live. You might live in a desert, it might be fine. I wouldn't trade you for the world. You've got no water. I even wiped the edge. My OCD.
all these speed ramps on my uh, my computer's gonna hate me. Speed ramp, and then uh, computer doesn't like that. Pull this back, and then wipe the back edge here. You'll have a little residue in the back there. Just make sure you clean behind it, because if it gets sticky and hard, it's not good. Here now, might as well just do it. Oh, don't forget to do the crack. <laughs> Gotta clean your crack. You know what, I might, I might have just done this about a couple weeks ago, now I think about it. I did some curve work and had to sand some curves. Yeah, maybe that's why. Anyway. Ow. Clean. Nothing up my sleeve. Clean the crack. Dirty. That gets pretty dirty because, you know, um, it just sits around and collects rust. Rust never sleeps. Neil Young was right. All right. It's got a coat on there, it'll be fine. And then uh, the OCD dictates that you must clean everything off like this. Okay, we're done. <laughs> now we start on the other project, Butcher Blocks. Oh boy. And we'll see you soon, bye. I say um a lot, so. Which, uh, and uh, speed ramp. Uh, keep my, uh, uh, God, I'm steaming up my glasses. I must be hot. Uh, uh, joiners. That's pretty lot. That's a lot. That's pretty lot. <laughs> That's a whole bunch.